banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to destroy a trillion dollars worth of airplanes, helicopters, boats, jeeps, and whatever else will explode in Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Horizon. It's very dramatic. Horizon. Horizon. Here we go. Namco's popular Ace Combat series has been around for quite some time now. In 2011's Ace Combat Assault Horizon has not been terribly well received by fans, and I was curious as to why that is, so I downloaded the game. It's pretty cheap for the PlayStation 3. I mean, how bad can it be, right? You blow things up with airplanes, and it looks really nice. We've also got some helicopters here, bombers, and... These people, none of whom are remotely interesting. Only one pilot fills out a flight suit that well. You'll be filling a grave if you're not careful. Oh, a desperate attempt at humor. And maybe that's part of the problem. Ace Combat Assault Horizon feels like an Ace Combat game that's lost its identity. Does it want to be modern warfare combined with burnouts and jets? Looking good so far. Or does it want to be an Ace Combat game? I'm not entirely sure. I I'm, I'm leaning towards the first one. This is a textbook example of style over substance because it looks great for the most part. It sounds really good. The jets are awesome. But you'll quickly realize that every single mission is exactly the same. You fly around and dogfight with enemy jets. You make sure to color all your aircraft bright green just because you can. And then fly really close to them where you engage this sort of slow down stylish auto targeting shooter on rails feature. Which makes blowing them up somewhat easier, and then you watch explosions in slow motion, right? Bandit acquired. And make sure to enjoy all of the blinky lights and beeping noises while you're at it. I just remember the other Ace Combat games being better than this. Because even though this auto-targeting thing is kind of cool the first couple times, when, when you've done it a hundred times, it's it's just the, the exact same thing, over and over and over again. Magic to Werewolf Flight. We still have several contacts. And that's really the biggest problem here, otherwise it's pretty cool. I think the music is genuinely good. It sounds like a big budget movie, but it fits the action in the game. And you'll certainly find a lot of action, but you won't find much that feels like you're flying an airplane. Like, Afterburner has more realistic flight controls than Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Although, although to be fair, the game plays well for what it's trying to do. You just point in the direction that you want to go and you go there. Solely to eventually lock onto an enemy target and slow motion shoot it down. I seriously started to cheer for myself when I could blow up enemies without having to lock onto them. And when an enemy gets behind you, you squeeze both triggers at the same time like a quick time event and fly around behind them and blow them up instead. So if you play this game, which I find somewhat disappointing, it's not god awful, after a while I think you'll look forward to the helicopter missions because they offer diversity, not, not really because they're all that good either. I love the A-10 Thunderbolt here. I'd love one of those things in my garage. Just to show how dumbed down this is, to strafe ground targets, you lock onto a point and it auto-guides you through a recommended attack pattern. Target hit. Target destroyed. Yeah, I've been on a flight game kick lately. I've played G-Lock, Afterburner, Air Force, Delta on the Dreamcast, and all of those games are better than this. 
as well as the earlier Ace Combat games, which are better than this. They're better because they actually have some respect for the airplanes. This is like a point-and-click adventure with explosions. And the storyline should go back to Modern Warfare from whence it came. In addition to the storyline, you can also jump into missions with a collection of airplanes that you'll acquire throughout the game. You can color them fancy colors, and even earn some upgrades and score points during arcade-style missions. There's also multiplayer. But if you like the Ace Combat series or arcade-style flight action games in general, I would stick with the older Ace Combat games. Even though you can find this one for a pretty good price these days. It's on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Yeah, it looks nice and it's kind of cool at times, but it's been dumbed down past the point of no return, which I think is the actual title they should have given this game. Flight. We're late getting off the ground. 